Gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we're not going to take too much time because I, I have some things I need to get to. Emergency operation of vehicles. This is for the state of California. Now, this is Concord Police Department up near San Francisco. Please understand something. I need you guys to pay attention. This is what was happening. I was working on a document that I mentioned to people. Oh, by the way, just for some of you, because some of you act real ignorant. When I say I'm working on something, do not email me asking for information regarding what I'm working on. Here's the other thing. Do not email me telling me what you think I should add to my document that I created based on my knowledge. If you want to add something like that, then you go ahead and start your own YouTube channel and you create your own document. Stop doing that, morons. And I don't care if it offends you. How dare you sit up here and piggyback off of my idea as if you can improve on it or make it better. If you could have improved on it or made it better, you would have done it before me. So please stop doing that stupid stuff. It's offensive. Oh, I apologize. Many of you guys don't understand. Okay. What I'm doing, other people have tried in the past. And they haven't been as successful as they could be. Shame, shame, shame. I know, I know! Tell me about it, right? Okay, however, as of now, I'm bringing up things that other people haven't brought up in the way that I brought them up. For instance, who ever thought that you could hand a uh, notice of pending suit to a police officer who pulls you over in a traffic violation? Okay? Who ever thought such a thing could be possible? Oh, and that you could ask questions of the judge and bind them to answer your questions, and if they don't answer your questions, which is in the normal course of their judicial seating, that you can bring a lawsuit against the judge for failing to do their job. See, when they don't do their job, they're in violation of oath of office. They're in violation of oath of office. They no longer are protected because they're out of office. They're no longer protected by judicial immunity because they're out of office. They're only protected when they're committing a judicial act. Well, if they violate their oath of office, they're not committing a judicial act because they're only covered under the judicial immunity doctrine when they're operating under their oath of office. Because they're under office, they're oath of office, they're in an office. If they're out of office, they are not protected by the office. Okay, so I'm glad you guys got that. All right, the first thing I did is I've known that police officers turn on their emergency lights all the time. Now, hold on now. You see how they block part of the roadway and they park their car at an angle? That's because you <clears throat> intelligent morons are parking your vehicle on the city streets, which gives them the right to tow your vehicle. You always want to pull your vehicle off the road, and you always want to park in an area where it's not towable. So if you want to continue to drive for another mile with your hazard lights on with them behind you to pull over, turn on your hazard lights, drive five miles under the speed limit until you get to the location where you can safely park off the side of the road, and then let them go through their spill. Now, if they want to tow a vehicle, which they can't, pay attention, no one's property can be taken without due process of law. There needs to be a hearing. There needs to be probable cause. A police officer does not have the authority to take property, not without a warrant. Pay attention to the Fourth Amendment. Go back and read it. That's why you don't put your property, you don't park on the freeway. You get to the nearest exit. If you're on a throughway, I'm sorry, <laughs> my bad. But if you're on the regular road, Make sure you pull into, you can pull into a gas station that has parking. You can pull here, you can pull there, wherever you can pull, especially the mall parking lots. I know you run the risk, but you can always call your family and say, hey, my car's parked over there, go get it before somebody vandalizes it. Because, you know, we live in that world. Okay, but the police turn on their emergency lights to let others know, hey, hey, there's an emergency up here. Well, it's a road hazard. Because I'm parked in a part of the road. That's why I parked my car over the line. So that y'all can know that there's an emergency here. Okay? The lights don't signify an emergency. The lights signify a road hazard. Okay? They reworded it because people were bringing it up. So that's why you don't put yourself in a position to where there's oncoming traffic that needs to be notified. Ta-da! Okay. Now that being said... That takes us over to...
No, not that one. This ain't it. It's this. No, that's judicial immunity. Where'd you go? I think it's right here. General order. General Lee. Emergency operation of vehicles. Ladies and gentlemen, every police department has this. So what did I do? Well, what I did with this young lady, this was my question. And under what circumstances do regulations stipulate the emergency lights may be deployed during an emergency? No, 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 hold on. I, I'd already asked the question, according to the California, because she gave it to me. This is the first question. Let's walk you through it. The state of California, the police department, must follow police manuals. It's supposed to be, is this not so? And this is not so anyway. So she gave me this, and all I did was come here and copy this. I didn't care. And pay attention. When I copied this, because I didn't care about what she said the answer was, I just came and I copied all the way down here. That I copied that whole thing. Now watch, just so that you can see. I copied the whole thing. Okay, according to, and then I copied that whole thing, and then I said at the end, what are the requirements for use of emergency lights during uh, on department vehicles? So it gave me this feel right here, blah, 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 which is not what I was asking for, and I knew that. So I said, and under what circumstances do the regulations stipulate that emergency lights may be deployed during an emergency? Didn't say traffic stop, because they cannot be deployed during a regular traffic stop, but they can be deployed during an emergency or a road hazard. So pay attention, and it gives me the regulations, but it doesn't. Do it the way I needed to do it. You follow me? Feel me? Feel me? So, ladies and gentlemen, I go, okay, look at that. It says flashing, steady light, blah, blah, blah. Use of red and blue warning lights on police vehicle, for example, is restricted to actual emergency operations or to warn motorists of an extreme hazard on a highway. So I click, 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 click on that one, and it took me over here. And I said, oh, no, you cannot let another moment go by. Because I have a consult in a couple of minutes. You cannot let another moment go by without you showing this to people. The emergency operation of police vehicles. Let's lodge in that again. Lodging. Is there a such thing as lodging? It is today. It is today. Anyway, the emergency operation of a police vehicle carries with it a tremendous responsibility. Tremendous! Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me explain to you where this is coming from. The document says right here, you have interfered with my right to travel. A traffic infraction is not a crime, and thus not an emergency. If you utilize your emergency lights during the course of this interaction with my person or my property, Please state your policy specifically dealing with the initiation and or engagement of emergency lights. There's no need for me to explain what emergency lights means. The context is clear and unambiguous. What was the nature of the emergency? And please define such an emergency in addition to the aforementioned via policy with the agency for which you are employed. It is to be noted that the question is directed in context. Judicial officers do not have emergency lightings. Department of Motor Vehicle personnel do, and their staff <laughs> within their offices do not have emergency lighting. And in order to conduct an emergency stop. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put my question mark here because that's what we is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, again, let me say, if I take the time to let you know what I'm working on, you need to understand, they know I'm working on it too. So I need y'all to shut it up with asking me for a copy. Asking me for this or that. That You don't have the right to do that is what I'm trying to tell you. If I didn't tell you, here's the link. If I say I'm working on it, that means I'm working on it. So why are you idiots asking me for something that I'm currently working on? I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I really, 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 really have to stress that because those are the comments I get from people who are not my people. See, my people would never do me like that. They would never, ever presume to ask me for something that they knew I was working on to benefit them, to interfere, to take out time out of my life to answer their 
asinine, it's easier that I say asinine instead of the other ASS sinine questions. Okay. Whew. All right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, oh, by the way, did some little touch ups because we had to add some other little points. Uh, we'll tell you this real quick. Yeah, yeah, nobody's done it like this before. We're going to go to the top, to the tippity tippity top. This thing is 13 pages long as of now. And this is a new document. Come on now. Look at that. It's playing with me, y'all. It did this earlier, too, by the way. You should have seen what it did earlier. I started to take pictures of it. See that right there? You're going to put a photo. See, the attached photo is a likeness, an image, a facsimile, but not the substance of my sentient existence as identified in the declaration. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain unalienable, unalienable, unalienable rights. Among them are, so the declaration says that I am a person that was created. Da, 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 da. Okay, so you put your photo because when you hand a document to the officer, you simply identified who you were in the document because you're planning on filing a lawsuit. So you are identifying yourself and you don't have to put your first and last name. You just have to put one of your names, first or last, then put etc. all, the same as we do for them. Remember, giving them a first and last name. Now, this is for those of you who can handle this, who know what you're talking about. Those of you who don't know what you're talking about, shut up and just take the ticket and move on. But those of y'all who know what you're talking about, you can only have one name, a first and a last name. Conjunction, junction are two different names. They're not the same name. They never were. Don't take my word for it. That's why you heard people talking about their family name. Okay, so if you got a photo ID that is likened to the, what's the name of that thing? I am trying to think right now, and I cannot think to save your life. That's likened to the passport ID. That's what I would suggest you put there. Okay, that's why I said passport photo. All right, hey, but there you go. Some of you guys are going to get what's going on and how it's going on and why it's going on. But until you get it, then you, <laughs> hey, I'll be long gone. Um, speak to you all later. Have a good day.